Let us discuss the crystal structure of transition metal dechalcogenides. We know that this material comes with a simple formula Mx2. M is a transition metal, X is a chalcogen atoms. If you look into the periodic table here, these are basically transition metals, right? And these three atoms are chalcogen atoms, sulfur, selenium, and tellurium. So when we combine these transition metal with chalcogen atoms with formula MX2, so we make transition metal D chalcogenides, right? Look here, the structure, these are X atoms, chalcogen atoms. This is also chalcogen atoms. Between these two atoms, there is transition metal atoms. And they make 2D layer here. Three atom takes 2D layer. All these atoms are bonded with each other with a covalent bond. You see here, covalently. And basically, this covalent bond is a very, very strong bond. Now, if we have a three-dimensional material, like a block here, three-dimensional block, right? And we want to uh, uh, exfoliate. Exfoliate means uh, remove the 2D layer. Like a book, this is a book here. This is a book, let's suppose. And we want to take one page out of this. So the one page is two-dimension and this book is three-dimension, right? So between two pages, the two pages basically bonded with each other with weak Van der Waal forces. It means that this is sheet, two-dimension sheet, it is attached with another sheet through weak one double forces. These are weak forces. This is why we can easily make two-dimensional sheet from three-dimensional material, right? This is this is the two sheet. This is one two-dimensional two sheet here. This is another two-dimensional sheet. So between the atoms here, this is covalent bond, and it is strong in plane bonding. You see here, but between these two sheets. This is called weak out of a plane interaction, mean Van der Waal forces. This is why it is very easy to use exfoliation. Exfoliation means basically when you uh, make layer from, this is three-dimensional material, and when you make two-dimensional material from three-dimensional layer, that is basically we call exfoliation. If it is through etching, that is uh, etching method. If it is through mechanical, mechanical disturbance, that is called mechanical disturbance. Right? Now this, uh, this structure is basically come with two structure, two phases. One is called 2H phase, 2H phase, right? Such as M2S2, tungsten, molybdenum. And this 2H phase basically is a semiconductor in nature. But more interesting thing is when we use bulk, mean three-dimensional, so this material shows indirect band gap. Indirect band gap means this is a valence band and here is conduction band. Mean that there is phonon here, phonon emission here, right? This is called indirect band gap, right? And when we exfoliate the three dimension and get monolayer or few layers of atoms, that is basically two dimension. So that material become direct band gap. Very, very interesting. This this direct band gap, this is Williams band, exactly here in the top is conduction band. This is this is called direct band gap material. Right? It's called direct band gap material. And this become direct band gap material, and uh, this shows uh, uh, very interesting uh, property here, uh, particularly for uh, up to electronic uh, devices. And the structure, the, the structure of this. 2H phase is basically triagonal prismatic. Prismatic means just like a prism. Just like the prism. You see here the prism. The structure look like this, right? Another interesting structure of uh, transition metal uh, dechalcogenides is 1T phase. This is called 1T phase. This is the example here. And this material shows metallic property. Very interesting. When it is in 1T phase, it basically shows a metallic uh, nature and this is basically octahedral structure octahedral structure 